Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I want to talk about A-B split testing on Facebook ads. Now, the first part of this video, I want to talk a little bit about split testing and testing in general, and then we'll go over to the Facebook Ads Manager and set up a split test or two so you can see that process. But I need to cover this stuff first because it's very important and a lot of people just getting into split testing and testing in general, like don't, don't think this way. And so hopefully this will open your eyes and get you thinking the right way about testing. So there's a lot of important factors that go into testing. Uh, the most important one is your offer itself. So this is what people are clicking on the ad to, to go do. So whether it's to go read a blog post or opt in for a lead magnet or buy a product or a service or attend a webinar or whatever it might be, uh, they're, they're clicking the ad to go do something, right? So that something, it has to be good. It has to be something people actually want. And a lot of times when people think about split testing, they think about their ad and their copy or their audience and all of that other stuff. But what really matters is like what the offer is on the other side. It has to be really good. It has to be something people want. I have an article on how to create killer offers that I'll go ahead and link to in the description below. But I just want to point that out there. Your offer is like the number one key ingredient to successful advertising. If your offer sucks, doesn't matter how good your ads are or how well you set up your pixel or your events and all that other stuff. Like if, if you're trying to give away something that people don't want, like it doesn't matter, right? So you have to have a good offer and that's where the focus needs to be is on getting something that you know converts. That's the key is a good offer. And then of course, the page that presents the offer is the next thing because they click on the ad to land on a page and that page has to be well constructed, describe the offer fully, look trustworthy, all that type of stuff. You know, good headline, subheadline, bullets, images, copy, all that stuff is important to present the offer well. So page and offer are the number one ones, most important things with your advertising efforts. So don't forget about that. I know we're talking about Facebook split testing and ads and audiences and objectives and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if, it, if it's not something people want and it's not presented well, well, it doesn't matter how good your ads are, right? So don't forget that piece of the puzzle offer and page. Very important, most important part of the whole split testing thing. Up next, then we have our ad, of course. So this is the ad that presents the offer and the page that people are going to. And so we're gonna address the ad, of course, in this video of split testing it. So ad and then audience. So you have the people that you're targeting with the ad, which brings them to the page, which presents the offer, right? So it's like a flow and you know, each step impacts the other step. For example, if you're advertising for dog toys or something like that, and you're presenting to the wrong audience, you're presenting to an audience of people that hate dogs, um, well, it doesn't matter how good your offer is or anything like that because your audience is screwed up. So all these pieces that I'm outlining here are connected. So if you change one thing uh, across all these different steps, like it can impact the steps further down your, your cycle here. So if you change your audience, well, it could impact your ad, which will impact your page, which will impact your offer and so on. So testing is complicated and it's very, very hard to kind of like track. Uh, you do need large budgets oftentimes to really like hone in and see what is fully working, but you can do it with smaller budgets and we'll kind of address that, you know, going forward here. But I just want to make sure you're aware that it's all connected together as like one big giant puzzle. So moving on to the next thing, we do have objectives. So this could be if you're optimizing for uh, conversions or traffic or video views or engagement or something like that. So whatever Facebook ad objective you set could impact the audience that sees your ad, which again impacts who clicks on your ad, which impacts who lands on your page, which impacts who sees your offer, which impacts who actually claims your offer. So all this stuff is important and the order of importance basically is offer, page, ad, audience, objectives. And so hopefully this little breakdown was helpful to you and kind of open your eyes to be like, oh, well, it's not just about the headline on my page or the image of my ad. It's about all this stuff together. It all has to work together in order for you to be like super successful. Now, the good part about it is there's a lot of room for you to improve things, right? So. You can improve your objective selection, you can improve your audience, you can improve your ad, you can improve your page, you can improve your offer. So there's a lot of different things you can go ahead and improve. So if you start off and stuff isn't working well, well, you got lots of room for improvement. So that's that's the good thing about this complex system. But again, it is a complicated system and it's not always gonna be like cut and dry. Like if you change your headline on this page, you will 
generate more results. Like it's not, it's not that simple. Hopefully this helps you understand that. Let's head over to Facebook Ads Manager and set up a split test or two. All right, so here I am in the Facebook Ads Manager and what we needed to go ahead and do is create a new campaign. So click the Create button and I am in the guided creation mode. So if you're not in a screen that looks like mine, but you wanna be in a screen that looks like mine, you come up here to the switch to guided creation button right here, and then you should be in a screen that looks like mine right here. So first thing we gotta go ahead and do is select our objective, and all objectives support split testing, so it doesn't matter what you select, but I always, or primarily run conversion campaigns, so I'll just select that for this example here. And then we'll come on down here. You can go ahead and name your campaign, name it whatever is relevant. Uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and turn on our create A-B test. And it tells us right here, A-B tests your creative placement, audience, and delivery optimization strategies. And we can learn more if we want to, and it you know provides an article of what split testing is and all this other stuff. So if you want to read more about Facebook's definition, go ahead and check that out. But we're going to go ahead and flip it on. And now it asks us to select a variable. So we can select the creative, which is the ad. So the copy, image, all that type of stuff. We can select the delivery optimization. So whether it's optimizing for like ads to cart or purchases or leads or clicks or whatever it might be. Then we have audience, so who you're targeting. Uh, and then we have placement, so where your ads are showing up, newsfeed or sidebar or messenger or wherever else they might show up. So coming back to our little flow chart thing here, um, of course, offer and page are most important, but then we get into ad and audience. And of course they kind of go hand in hand because if you're showing the wrong ad to the wrong audience, well, you know, it's gonna impact who's clicking what and all that type of stuff. So what I typically recommend doing is trying to have a good audience already. So whether you have a look like audience, hopefully of like buyers or at least leads, a look like audience of good qualified individuals, then that's a good audience to start with. Or if you don't have a look like audience yet and you wanna go ahead and stack your interests into a good audience, I have a video on that down below in the description. So if you need help generating an audience, I recommend you know figuring out a good audience. It's Audience is not that hard to figure out on Facebook because Facebook's gonna do a lot of the optimization and heavy lifting for you when it comes to your audience. Like they'll figure out who of that audience is clicking on whatever ad. So I recommend you know figuring out your audience look alike or a, a stack interest-based audience and using that same audience to test different ad creative. So what I'm trying to say is I recommend focusing on your ad over your audience when it comes to Facebook advertising. And if you find a, an amazing ad and you want to go ahead and test audiences, you can do that later on. But more importantly is your ad in my experience because again, Facebook's gonna do a lot of heavy lifting with their optimization of your audience. So adds more where it's at. So let's come in here and go to creative and hit continue now. And so now we can go ahead and set up our ad set, which includes like our conversion objective and our targeting. And I have another video on all that type of stuff, but here's where you could go ahead and select like your lookalike audience. If you have a lookalike audience, I recommend going ahead and doing that. So boom, lookalike audience. And we'll just move down through here real quick to get to this split testing stuff. So we'll leave all this stuff at the default settings until we get to this AB test budget and schedule. Now, as you'll notice, Facebook throws an insane budget in here and that's because in reality, you do need a lot of money to figure out which uh, ad or creative or whatever is doing the best so that we get to statistical significance. However, I know a lot of people, especially people watching a video on how to do split tests, probably aren't running, you know, $1,000 a day budgets on tests. Like, it's just not happening. Uh, it's just a lot of small businesses don't have $1,000 a day to test different ads, right? They need stuff working more more consistently. So, of course, you can go ahead and drop that down to $10, $20 a day, something a little bit more manageable. And then we get into duration down here, and I recommend doing like a seven day split. So that way, you know, you're covering all seven days of the week. Uh, I just think that's a little bit better than, you know, only focusing on Tuesday or one day of the week or something like that, where maybe, you know, no one buys your stuff on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, you know, they buy like 10 of it. So you want to make sure that you kind of span like a, a long enough time period to have enough people looking at your ads and all that type of stuff. So I, I like seven day time frame, but you know, you could play with it and do whatever's relevant for you. If you have a limited amount of time to do a test, then uh, you know, just like the smaller time frame. But anyway, we'll go ahead and hit continue now. And now we get into creating our ads. 
And you'll notice on the left hand side right here, it shows us like add A and add B. And we could also add other ads if we want to as well. So we can do like a, a bigger multivariant type test if you want to go ahead and do something like that. And so creating an ad when you're setting up a split test is just like creating an ad when you're not setting up a split test. You know, you select your format here, uh, you come down here, you add your media. So whatever media you want to add, I'm just going to go ahead and click stuff real quick just to set up an ad. So we'll go with this one. And then I can throw in my text and headline and description, add in a link and a call to action. And then I get into tracking and all that stuff. And then I go ahead and click continue to add B. So I come over here and now I'm working on add B over here. Now here's something that I do want to want to address with you. Like a lot of people that tell you when you're doing a split test is to only test like one thing, like switch out the image or switch out the headline or, you know, just switch one thing of your ad so that way you can see what is what has changed and i agree with that if your budget is large enough large enough to support that like oftentimes just changing out one element is not enough to significantly change how the ad is performing like your image or video is not that different your your headlines not that different and while changing those around could increase your results a little bit, like it's typically not enough, especially on a smaller budget to really drive home like a massive impact. So if you're running a smaller budget, which is anything less than $100 a day, I would say on these split tests, you need to make like significant changes to your ads. And that kind of goes against what a lot of people will say out there, but you know, running small budgets, and doing small changes on your ads, it's not, it does not add up. You're not gonna get enough data in there to really see what actually you know, improved your results. So you need to make dramatic changes to your ads. Like ad A should look dramatically different than ad B. So that we can actually tell if there's a difference between the two different ads. And so that's a key thing I wanted to go ahead and address in this video. Again, if you're running less than $100 a day, like change up that ad, make it completely different, make it completely unique. So that we have a greater chance at identifying like some actual change in results between your ads. So I think that's the last piece of advice I'll leave you with with these split tests is small budget, make, make significant changes to your ads. Don't just switch out your image, your headline or something like that. Like, completely different ad. All right, so I think you got that down. And of course, if you wanna add another ad to your test, you can click test another ad. Of course, it's going to spread your budget even thinner and you might need to spend some more money or wait a longer period of time in order to get enough results. But once you have everything set up, you simply come over here, hit confirm, and it's gonna go out there and launch your ad to the world. And after seven days or however long of a time frame you set up for your tests, uh, Facebook will tell you the results that you know it found and from there you can decide which creative or which ad performs the best and you could go ahead and run with that ad or you can split test that ad against another ad and just keep testing until you figure out the best possible ad for your business. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them below. I'm here to help you out. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that and I hope you have a great rest of the day.